what it do, it's your boy, Bon Quiqui, aka Klana Humphrey. So a couple days ago, I put up an Instagram post of my fully built 450, not too shabby type beat, and a lot of you guys liked it. So I decided, hey, might as well, you know, maybe make a little video of you know, the processes and pretty much everything that went into it. I'm gonna show you guys how to build a custom dirt bike. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but I'm just saying I've built some pretty cool mini bikes over the years. Here are a couple of my mini bikes that I've built from 65s all the way to super minis. I know, they're pretty cool, they're pretty cool. Type B, e, I know, I know, they're, they're sick. But this is the first time I'm ever building a big bike. Here's a couple centrals that I needed for this bike build. Step one, a 2023.5 Gas Gas MC450 Factory Edition, baby. Yes sir, we're gonna need all that power. The purpose of this build is for free riding. Anything from 75 foot ramps to huge jumps out in the hills, the big dirt doubles. Pretty much anything free ride related, this is the bike for. I'm a pretty light, smaller guy, I would say, and a 450 is a lot of power. So power really wasn't an issue for me. The things that I mostly customized were some aftermarket parts like an FMF exhaust, ODI bars, a shave seat with a thrill seeker seat cover, some strong wheels because sometimes I like to go long, unfortunately, but hey, it happens, it happens, it happens. And some raised pegs because like I said, your boy is not the tallest. But hey, we get the job done. Or it's not about the size of the boat, it's about the motion in the ocean, you know what I'm saying? Parents watching this, I am sorry. So for the color scheme, I wanted to do something different. I really dig earth tones, so I straight away went to the Serico website, looked at all of the colors. Also, I like to go to Canva to kind of map everything out, kind of build the bike. All right, now this is where the real work starts. Fortunately, my buddy Matt Chase tore the whole bike down for me. I really appreciate him doing that. For the suspension, I dropped it off to my boy Brandon at AHM Factory Services. They always have me hooked up. He tore the whole thing apart in a day and got the suspension ready for me to coat. So for the coatings, I had to hit up my boys at Cypher Coating. Shout out Blake and Joe, they hooked it up big time. Honestly, when I first approached them, they were really, really excited. Obviously, this is not a typical build you see every day. They said this was the most custom build they've ever done with so many different colors. So as usual, the boys at Cypher absolutely killed it. So for the seat, like I said a million times, and I'll say it again, I'm not the biggest guy. So, you know, your boy maybe cut out a little bit of tushin in the pushin. <laughs> I took my seat down to Thrill Seekers down in Pacific Beach. What up? Welcome, Hi, bud. Hi. How are you? Good. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Thrill Seekers. What's up, Chad? What up, buddy? How you Austin and Chad, they're amazing people. Austin is actually really good at cutting seats. He has a whole process, a whole technique to doing it. Cut my seat, dialed me in with a sick seat cover. They had some custom rubbers, even got a custom patch on there. They absolutely killed it down there. Appreciate it. And this is the most challenging part of them all putting the bike back together. Bike builder and my homie slash uncle slash brother, Aaron Aaron, offered to help. Crazy, right? Nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm a good kid, I'm a good kid, I promise. We took the bike to Deus Ex Machina down in Venice Beach where he has his own custom workshop. He spent the next 48 hours building that 450. Man, from scrubbing to grinding, we did it all. The bike was fully laid apart, everything stripped down to the bones. We spent the next 48 hours assembling the bike back together. I slept three hours on the little couch. Kieran slept two hours. We were straight up grinding, dude. Like, grinding. It was definitely a super fun time. Big, big thank you to Kieran, man. He put in so much work to help me get this bike done in such a short notice. I really appreciate your help. So there's only a few steps left to the bike. Graphics, put the graphics on at Motocuts. Me and Todd designed it there at Motocuts. Watched them print the graphics. Honestly, Todd, you're a homie, you're a legend. Thank you so much.
God. Dang. Gosh. Dang, that's a beautiful bike. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, so beautiful. Bike turned out awesome. Thank you so much to everyone that helped pitch in for this build. Honestly, couldn't be more stoked, and that's how you build a custom dirt bike. But there's only one thing to do, and I think we all know what it is. We gotta ride the dang thing. What a day. It's like every